Coming up next is Floristry, and this is a game from a Japanese publisher that unfortunately is going to be very, very difficult to get a hold of. And I say unfortunately because it's a really good game. Uh, I'm giving Floristry an 8.5. Uh, I think this is an excellent, excellent game. You've probably heard the phrase Splendor Killer thrown around a whole lot. Um, and it's become a bit of a joke at this point, but uh, to me, floristry is really a splendor killer. It has a very similar idea where you're going to be getting cards uh, in front of you that are going to give you symbols that make it easier for you to get other cards further along in the game. And you're doing this through um, a dice draft, okay? So you'll have dice of different colors and different values on those dice, and you're gonna be drafting them, and then you're gonna be spending those dice to get flower cards, um, small and large flower cards. The, the theme of this is that you are a florist's apprentice, and you are trying to gain skill in creating uh, different bouquets that customers will want. So there's a bit of a contract fulfillment element to it, where you have particular cards that need a particular arrangement of flowers that you're getting with these flower cards. And so you're drafting dice, getting these flower cards, turning in these flower cards for uh, bouquet cards that are gonna give you points. And again, they're gonna give you symbols to make it easier to complete the more complex higher point value cards. It is a gorgeous production. Uh, I think it's a really, really solid game, uh, an engine building type of a game. Um, not terribly long, has a nice turn order mechanism that makes turn order very, very important. I really think Floristry is great and I hope, hope, hope that some publisher picks this up and gives it a wider release.